Well, on the Ukrainian issue, the United Nations approved a resolution that said Crimea's Russian-backed secession was, in fact, illegal. Ebrus Tazmin Mafus is live outside the UN building in New York with details of the voting record. Good evening, Tazmin. Good evening, Nicole. Well, the UN General Assembly has 193 members, but just 11 of those members supported Russia by voting no. 58 members abstained their votes, leaving 100 members to vote yes, that Russia's annexation of Crimea was illegal. Those against? Abstentions. The UN General Assembly has adopted a resolution affirming its commitment to Ukraine's territorial integrity. The resolution before us is about one issue and one issue only. Through it, we make clear our ongoing support for the fundamental idea that borders are not mere suggestions. It urges all parties to pursue a peaceful resolution through direct political dialogue and refrain from unilateral actions and inflammatory rhetoric. The General Assembly has underscored that the March 16 referendum held in Crimea has no validity. But Russia is asking for consideration of its noble intentions in the peninsula. We call on everyone to respect the voluntary choice just as Russia has done. Russia could not refuse the Crimeans to support their right to self-determination. For Ukraine and the Western powers, the vote marks the latest effort to isolate Russia following Crimea's split with Ukraine. And actually, China was one of the countries who abstained their vote. And that's interesting because clearly their partnership is critical for Russia. But the U.N. General, General Assembly vote actually does not lead to any direct action. But that's why the Security Council held closed doors meeting today. And they'll be meeting again on Monday. Nicole. Tasmin, thanks for the update.